Don't forget to subscribe for more videos and real-time updates. Also, please leave a like and comment. I've created a Telegram group where we'll share pre-sales and airdrops. You can join right away using the link in the description. Additionally, if you haven't registered on Mexic Exchange and Binance Exchange yet, you can start trading with zero commissions. XRP has joined the list of rising coins today, going up by 0.21%. Image by TradingView on the hourly chart, the price of XRP might have found a local support level of $0.4958. If growth continues to the 50 cents zone and the rate can fix above that vital mark, traders might see an upward move to $0.5039 tomorrow. Image by TradingView on the daily time frame. The rate is far from the support and the resistance, which means that ongoing sideways trading remains the more likely scenario until the end of the week. All in all, traders might expect a consolidation in the range of $0.4950 to $0.5050 for the next few days. Image by TradingView A similar picture can be seen on the weekly chart as none of the sides is dominating at the moment. Such a statement is also confirmed by the declining volume. A possible move to the resistance of $0.5848 can happen only if the price fixes above the interim zone of 55 cents. Financial expert questions the role of utility in shaping XRP's market price. The expert believes XRP value will be determined more by economic requisites of the global financial system put forward by the World Bank and IMF. Pro-XRP lawyer Bill Morgan argues that XRP must possess utility for the global financial system. Financial expert Shannon Thorpe recently entered the discourse surrounding XRP's price outlook, introducing a unique perspective that challenges prevailing notions about XRP's value being based on utility. Thorpe emphasized the importance of evaluating XRP's worth through qualitative analysis rather than the typical quantitative approach. While dissecting a pivotal aspect of XRP's future valuation, she questioned the role of utility in shaping XRP's market price. In her analysis, Thorpe presented a hypothetical scenario wherein two banks strategize to employ their XRP holdings for transactional purposes. She contended that when one of these banks is to engage in utility by utilizing its XRP, it could naturally increase XRP's price. Thorpe pointed out that this utility-driven increase would also influence the other bank's liquidity strength (LS), potentially leading to a higher valuation and subsequently affecting the quantity of XRP needed for future transactions. However, the expert underscored that this growth model relying on the business's efforts may pose potential vulnerabilities. Moreover, Thorpe drew attention to the original intentions of XRP's founders. She pointed out that they did not envision XRP's value to be contingent on external contributions or retail investors' acquisitions. She further disputed the notion of tying XRP's value to the performance of Bitcoin, asserting that Bitcoin's inherent lack of utility results in its market volatility. Further, the financial expert referenced a recent industry report from Ripple, which indicated that most global finance decision-makers anticipated significant crypto-related impacts on business finance in the coming years. The report revealed that over half of the surveyed professionals either already implemented or planned to introduce crypto solutions in their respective organizations. Thought the rise that if Ripple's report referred to entities like the World Bank, IMF, BIS, and the Federal Reserve System, it would suggest a profoundly bullish outlook for XRP. In particular, she believes XRP value would be tied to the economic requisites of the global financial system put forward by the World Bank, IMF, and other prominent institutions. Predictable, her view did not sit well with some members of the XRP community. Pro-XRP lawyer Bill Morgan argued that if XRP's price is tied to the requirements of the global financial system, it inherently must possess properties that address those needs, which is a form of utility on a fundamental global scale. Despite controversial price performance, XRP was in the spotlight during the whole of August 2023. One crucial trading volume metric makes it standing out amid an apathetic late Q3 2023. XRP becomes most traded altcoin, closest competitor surpassed by 4XXRP, the fifth largest cryptocurrency, becomes the most popular altcoin for trading in August 2023. Its 30-day average daily trading volume exceeds $462 million in equivalent. Its closest competitor, Solana Solist, sees this metric at the $128 million level. Such calculations were published by on-chain market data tracker Kaiko. Police cars revolving light despite its recent pullback, hash XRP saw far stronger trading activity relative to other altcoins. Binance Coin BNB, Dogecoin Dogest and Litecoin LTC are also listed among the most popular coins for traders in last August. Polygon Maticist, Cardano Adorsed, 
Tron Truxist and Polkadot Dotist registered 8-digit average trading volume in last 30 days. As covered by U.Today previously, on August 13, 2023. XRP witnessed a staggering $3 billion volume surge that surprisingly, was not accompanied by an XRP price volatility spike. Analysts attributed this strange move to possible, sideways trading, value transfer between two whales or other reasons. Also, on September 2, 2023, XRP Ledger witnessed the largest on-chain transactions by net volume. Mysterious whales moved 4.8 billion XRP tokens between on-chain accounts. XRP fails to protect its post-ruling gains from bears however. All these records failed to prevent the XRP price from erasing all of its gains associated with the legal victory of Ripple, against the US SEC. On July 13, 2023, once the court verdict was announced, the XRP price jumped by over 70%. In almost no time, it spiked from 47 cents to over 82 cents and revisited an 18-month high. As covered by Kaiko, it even surpassed Bitcoin cust by trading volume for a couple of days. XRP was responsible for 21% of all trading volume in the cryptocurrencies segment. It managed to stay high for about a week, but then started to decline rapidly. By press time, it lost all the energy from its pump and went back to mid-July levels below 50 cents. In a recent interview with Bloomberg, Chris Lesson, co-founder and current CEO of Ripple, shared his insights into the state of cryptocurrency regulation in the United States, with a particular focus on the ongoing XRP case. Lesson expressed his concerns about recent federal decisions, which he believes have adversely affected San Francisco's role as a hub for blockchain innovation. He highlighted that the US has lost its status as the global blockchain leader to cities like London, Singapore, and Dubai. Ripple and XRP v. SEC discussing the XRP case, Lesson stated that the SEC lost on everything that was important to them and important to the regulation of the industry. While acknowledging the ongoing appeals process, he characterized the case outcome as significant for Ripple and the cryptocurrency sector, suggesting that it marked a pivotal moment for the industry. Lesson also criticized Gary Gensler, the head of the SEC, for what he viewed as a regulatory approach driven by enforcement rather than clear legislative guidelines. He argued that regulatory decisions as with Ripple, XRP, or Bitcoin spot ETF should be the purview of Congress. We should have clear rules from the legislatures, not through the side of unelected power-hungry and really misplaced decision-makers, as you see in Gary Gensler. Responding to questions about alternative jurisdictions for crypto businesses, Lesson noted that many entrepreneurs were exploring options outside the US, citing countries like the UK, Singapore, and the UAE. These countries offer well-defined regulatory frameworks that strike a balance between consumer protection and innovation, making them increasingly attractive to crypto startups. XRP is currently on a bearish slide to conform with the broader market trend, after dropping by more than 1.2% in the past 24 hours to $0.4986. While XRP bears appear to be in charge at the moment, the digital currency is not losing sight of its core goal, which is to retest the psychologically important resistance level at $1. With this ambitious goal, there are a lot of factors that must be put in place to hit this historic milestone, all of which are embodied in how the legal battle between Ripple Labs Inc. and the United States Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, pans out. At the moment, the company appears to be in the lead after scoring a decisive victory when Judge Annalisa Torres declared that the trading of XRP on secondary marketplaces does not constitute a security offering. This verdict ushered in a whole new era of confidence on the part of the XRP community, who went on a massive accumulation spree, which helped push the price of the coin toward the 75 cents range.